Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The BNB recap for Monday, December 5, 2022, sees a heretofore unexpressed worry coming to light. Finally, a storyline that isn't Bridge vs. Tridge. In this episode, John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, put his thinking cap on, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Laney, and Hope Logan Spencer, Annika Noel, sang Steffi Forrester Finnegan's, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, or gave her a plethora of backhanded compliments, the jury's still out, Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, made some big statements, and Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, let Brooke know that he wasn't sorry. No, not one little bit. Now, let's take a deeper look into what went on, though he's not once expressed it in all these months, Finn has been silently stewing over the circumstances of his biological mother's presumed death. It's just all too pat, too easy. What are the chances that a grizzly bear managed to accomplish what every forester failed to do, which, by the by, is put an end to Sheila once and for all, and that toe? That single, solitary toe that was supposedly one bite too much for old bloodthirsty yogi. Does it actually look like it's been chomped on? Or does it look perfectly severed? Finn thinks the latter. Steffi sort of agrees. Now they're both panicked by the thought of Sheila being alive and well and plotting her revenge and in flat, closed-toed shoes, no less. Ick, speaking of Steffi, once Brooke and Hope got done standing around recapitulating last week's goings-on, Thomas did bad, Steffi did good by exposing him, Brooke told Ridge Forrester, Horston K., that he had to decide once and for all whether it was her or Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen, who he truly desired to spend his days with, they said about praising her. How impressive that she threw caution to the wind and told the truth when her brother and mother proved. Absolutely incapable. They're both so proud, Steffi accepted what she wasn't sure was plaudits or insults about her character, then made sure that both women knew where she stood. Yes, she told the truth, but she is still very much Team Ridge and Taylor. Noted. Very much noted, if there's one thing that Sheila's good at, it's rising from the ashes. In point of fact, she's done it so many times that it's no longer a real challenge. As she explained it to Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, who's beginning to wish that he'd never thrown his all behind the villainous, she'll soon be back in the good graces of her beloved son, regardless of the fact that she used his wife for target practice, and Cloud Cuckoo Land, where Thomas resides, all's right with the world. Back on planet Earth, all is not well, Brooke is pissed, and she wants Thomas to know it, and it's not just because he greeted her with a what's going on, though that was pretty darn annoying. She also wanted to register her complaint about the dirty trick he pulled on her, and her upset over his inability to digest the consequences of his actions. Oh, and the fact that he wouldn't even apologize for what he did also irked Brooke, so there's that. A reckoning is coming for Thomas, and you'd better believe that Brooke will be leading the charge. For his part, Thomas doesn't appear too worried, the bold and the beautiful BNB airs weekdays on CBS. Check your local listings for airtimes. For more about what's coming up in Los Angeles, check out all the latest that's been posted on BNB Spoilers, and for an in-depth look at the show's history, click here. For more about what's happening on your favorite soaps, join the conversation over on our Facebook page, check out our Twitter feed, or look for an update on our Instagram stories. See you over there.